Well, it's not a pleasant sight or smell on Lake Michigan beaches. Alewife washing up all along the shoreline, and now the DNR is trying to do something about the die off. Meteorologist Sarah Flynn shows us how they're doing that and how it's impacting the fishing industry. All new at 7. It's the biggest die off I've seen since probably 2010. Alewife fish, an invasive species to Lake Michigan, have been washing up onto shores in masses throughout West Michigan. And we've had so many alewives around this year. The last three years have been coming in here in the marina, and you can, when the water was high, they were washing up on the docks. To combat the issue, the DNR adds Chinook salmon to the lake each spring. They serve as the main predator to alewife. There's just so much more food than there is fish right now. The DNR added nearly 800,000 salmon this year. That's up from 600,000 last year. But our goal is to go up to a million next year in 2023. Balancing out the alewife population is not the only benefit of adding salmon into Lake Michigan. Just last year, across the five Great Lakes, the fishing industry generated $7 billion. Not been good this year so far. Had a good week in May, good week and a half in May, and then since then it's been not so well. Despite the increase in salmon, Alof says he catches about five fish an outing. In years past, he would catch 10 to 15 fish. The, the more fish they put in, the more there is to catch. It helps all the businesses out locally and the recreational guys get to go out. Although it has been a slow start to the season for tangled mess charters in Holland, Alof's hopes that the one million fish released next year will help. Um, we probably will never have a completely native community again, but we'll try our best to create the best community that that's good for the ecosystem and for economies and for society. Reporting in Holland, meteorologist Sarah Flynn, News 8.